<laughs> one is, you said today one Bitcoin is uh, 50,000K. You said there's like four, uh, four million Bitcoins floating on the exchange market. What happens if to, like uh, next week there are, I don't know, 15 million Bitcoins floating on the market? What do you expect will be the value of one Bitcoin? Uh, was that, your, that was your first question, right? Can I answer it before I forget? <laughs> so today, actually, Bitcoin is trading around 35,000. Um, what would happen if, if you know, millions of Bitcoin left uh, self-custody, left these hardware wallets, entered the exchanges? Um, well, the exchanges would have more uh, supply, right? And mathematically, that means demand you know, goes down. So the price would go down. Uh, with the numbers you stated, it might be a bit on the difficult side, right, for all of those millions to leave custody at the same time. Um, because what I've noticed about Bitcoin holders is they're very aggressive. They believe in this idea and, and they buy more. And what we've seen is, you know, historically, we've seen the number on the, ex on the exchanges, you know, get smaller and not bigger. Um, but what would happen is the price would drop. Right? Okay. Second question. I'm here in Ethiopia. I have 250 gigabyte hardware. I have a Dell computer. I start today. Every day, eight hours a day, I start mining. How long will it take me to get half a Bitcoin? Half a Bitcoin. One Bitcoin, yeah. One Bitcoin. Yeah. $35,000. Yes. It would take um, thousands of dollars worth of energy, and that laptop would, I don't know, spin out of control and overheat before you're at that number. Uh, so it, it, now all of this depends on what's called a hash rate. The hash rate, uh, mastering Bitcoin, it, you know, it goes into it intensely. But uh, it's the idea that the more miners are in the system, the less your reward will be. So I can't you know, tell you outright this will be your um, reward based off of you know, three cents a kilowatt hour and you, you know, mining 24 hours a day, X, Y, and Z off your Dell laptop. Uh, but it, it wouldn't be a large amount um, working with one laptop. Um, so yes, at that point, you know, if, if you're trying to make, you know, a serious amount of money, you would need a kind of a commercial or an industrial scale. You know, tenish magazan, full time. How much will I get, like per month, if uh, I don't do anything else? So a success. Eight hours a day. It depends on a lot of factors, but a successful miner makes more than they're spending on energy. So, you know, let's say you spend, you know, 5,000 bir on energy per month, and you're making 5,001 bir per month in Bitcoin, uh, then that's a, you know, a successful miner. Uh, now, a lot of the miners that I know, uh, they're not in it for uh, kind of the short term, month over month, you know, let me make Bitcoin and sell it to dollar, and, you know, they're holding on to that Bitcoin. Because the, the psychology is, you know, if the scarcity principle is, is baked in, if the having principle, you know, kicks in every four years, you're going to want to hold on to that Bitcoin. So, um, I, I, you know, it's very hard for me to, to share numbers. Um, and with Ethiopia, kind of, you know, the power fluctuations and the internet fluctuations, you might not be able to run a node 24 hours a day, right? Uh, I think you might because the, the, uh, it requires such little internet. Um, but also, I don't think it's been done in Ethiopia, right? Bitcoin mining. So try it out. I, I think we, we really need a case study. We really need a kind of a pilot program to, to look at. So I, I, now the group that would know more is Project Mono. Uh, they've calculated uh, rates based off of uh, the Grand Ethiopian Renaissance Dam, uh, three cents kilowatt hour. So uh, look into some of their um, uh, research, uh, Project Mono, and projectmono.et, I think, um, and then bitcoin.et. So Zahirish, you can get some of the numbers. Last question. You mentioned Bitcoin, Euphorian, Bitcoin Cash. Do they, how do they inter-exchange? Like, uh, yes, you can, you can uh, exchange them there. You, know, you can sell one for the other, uh, just like you can for a dollar and X, Y, and Z. Um, I think for you know, purposes of learning, it's best to learn about the open source protocol, Bitcoin. Uh, the others, because they're centralized, um, you know, they're, they're not as interesting. 